Does it seem to you as though life is flying by and that it was just the start of the year five minutes ago and we'll be into 2025 in another five minutes? Because that's what it feels like to me. And it's at times like this when we need to slow down a bit, take a step back and just smell the roses. And that's what I'm going to be talking about on this video. And the reason I'm talking about it is because one of the viewers to the channel, Better Animation, has suggested that this might be a topic that I might want to talk about. And the reason for that is because in this world that we live with things going by so quickly, we seem to want to get the big things out of life. We're waiting for those happy moments to come. But the problem is that those big happy moments don't come very often. And what we do is we overlook small moments of joy because that's exactly what they are. And the thing is they come along so scarcely that we can live our lives feeling like nothing great is happening to us and that our lives aren't as happy as they could be. And that reminded me that when I'm getting stressed and when I'm doing things and they're not going as well as I like, it's very easy for me to overthink things. And so what I try to do is take myself out of the situation and get a little break from that, if you like. And so what I'll go and do is go outside and have a walk, have a walk around our village, have a walk through the woods, anything like that, to kind of take the pressure down and to kind of appreciate what I've got around me. And what I find is that as I'm walking around and I start to relax, then that pressure drops. And what it does is it clears my mind. And so when I go back trying to look at the problem that I was trying to solve, I go back with a fresh, clear mind. So what I'm saying is, if you go out for a walk, take the time to have a look around and appreciate the things that you have around you. I know that not far from here are some woods that I offer. I've videoed there before now. And as you're walking through the woods, you can hear the birds singing in the background. You can smell the grass as you walk through, especially when it's just been cut. And as you're walking through the woods, to see the sunlight shining through the trees, even on days like this, you'll get a bit of that. And what I tend to do is as I'm walking through the woods, just take a deep breath, slow right down, and see what's around me. Once upon a time I used to live on the coast. I used to walk along the seafront and there was nothing I loved more than hearing the waves lapping up onto the beach and you could smell the salt water in the air. And as I'd walk around our town and down into the harbour, you could look around and see fishermen sorting out their nets and getting ready prepared for the next day or if, if you're later in the day when they're coming in and loading up what they'd caught while they were out fishing. It was a wonderful thing to see. And doing that as well used to take me completely out of whatever my problems that I was living from at that particular moment were. Last year I did a video about these small moments of joy. What I did was get a little jar and put it in my office on this desk. And then each day, as these little things occurred to me, as I was going about my day, I would get a pen, scribble on a bit of paper, what it was these little moments of joy were and put them in the jar. And I did this for a month. The biggest problem that I had was actually remembering to write down those little moments of joy that I had every day. And so at the end of the month, instead of having 30 as I should have had, I only had 25 or 26. But the things that were on those notes were great. Things like, Deb sent me a video of the world's worst busker that she saw in the town. Things like, how I loved winning the pinch punch first of the month competition we have in our house. Even at my age, I still love winning that. Or I'd scribble down because 
me and Debs had had a dance around the bedroom because we have the radio on in the mornings and we weren't even dressed yet. Silly little things, things that by the end of the month you would have never thought about again because they weren't big. They were just tiny little moments of joy from here and there. And it was so good that what I did was adapted my journal to make us a row so that each and every day I would write down the one thing that stood out most to me from that particular day that brought me just a little bit of joy. Because at the end of the day, if you don't do things like that, as I said at the beginning, you could feel as though not much happens in your life that's that happy. And then what I could do then is in those moments when things aren't working as great as I'd like to, I can flip back into my journal, read down, smile to myself, and just pick up the spirits a bit, if you know what I mean. See, what I'd like to do is encourage you to do the same as me. Because you can't have enough joy in your life, can you? And those little moments, they add up. But if you don't take the time to write them down, they'll be forgotten. And as so often, when I look back in my journal now of all those weeks that have gone by, seeing one thing can just change your day, to be honest. It can start to make you feel that things are better than you think they are. Another thing that I do that brings a little bit of joy, and it's something that I think we all probably do, is... Look at your photos on the phone. Because if you're like me, we all take these little photos as we're going out and about during our day, or we see something that makes us laugh and we'll take a photo of that. Or as Debs did the other day, she sent me a little video onto my phone that she'd taken of me with our granddaughter Mila playing with me. And I can just flick that on and it just makes me smile. Or the sign that I saw as I walked through the town of Weymouth, a little pub sign that made me laugh so much. Or even the photo of my son Henry and his wife Dee stood in front of Cinderella's castle in Walt Disney World. Things like that, just to have a quick look at them, brings a smile to my face and cheers me up. You see, perhaps instead of chasing those huge moments, those ones that you're gonna stick with you for ages. It's better for us to take note of all the tiny things, those little things that happen day by day that just make you smile. You could be walking through our village and just see two old friends sat on a seat having a talk to each other and laughing and joking. Just watching somebody else just can lift your spirits a little bit or someone playing with their dog. There are so many things that happen around us as we're walking out and about that can cheer you up, but are easily forgotten. The big things in life, like last year, for instance, my son Henry and Dee, their wedding was a huge thing and it stayed with me all the time. But that's a year ago now. But those little moments that we saved on our phone are still with me all this time later. And they're there for you to just click on and have a look. I suppose my question to you is, do you notice the little moments? Do you notice that as you're out and about, things just make you laugh? Or that you'll see something that brings a smile to your face? If that's so, why don't you comment below? Let us know what you've seen, what's made you laugh recently. Because the small things may not be as good as the great big things, but they do happen more often. And as we look forward into 2025, maybe, like me, you could start writing them down into a little journal for yourself. So that in those moments when you're not at your best, let's say, you can flick back, have a look in there, remind yourself of something that made you laugh. So for me, one of mine that I just remembered was I was driving my car through Cambridge last year and I had some music playing and it was Roy Orbison singing Uptown. And I, that's my favourite Roy Orbison song. 
and I'm sitting in the car at the traffic lights and I'm singing away like a good and out of the corner of my eye I noticed there were three girls on the curb in hysterics watching me in my car singing away having a little dance at the traffic lights something just so seconds it was maybe half a minute and I drove on and continued my day but things like that written down just make a difference to your life and at the end of the day isn't that what we all want just to have a bit more joy in our life things that remind us that with everything that's going on around us it's not all bad and so if anything what I'd like to say about this video is that it's really good certainly for me and I think it could be for you to just take those moments of the day as you're out and about and doing whatever you do and here you come into contact through the course of the day just to pay a little bit of attention to those small innocuous things that make you smile that bring five seconds of joy into your life and if you're very lucky you'll have five or six of them that come your way during the course of the day and by writing them down they'll be yours to keep for just a little bit longer and if you look there I'll be telling you five things that you should be grateful for. I'll see you next time, all right?